Welcome to Web Systems, Autumn 2016. This subject is what other universities typically call an introduction to information technology. We have a slight twist on that because we actually have an introduction to information technology using the web as a case study. So I'll just talk to you a bit about how the subjects could be run this semester. First of all, my name is Chris Wong. I'm the subject coordinator and the main lecturer and also the general person you want to contact for anything to do with this subject. We have a couple of other staff, your main um, contact for each week, are your tutors, Ryan Heiss, Bernard Doyle, Paul Sutcliffe and Jackson Lynn. Um, they do a combination of daytime and evening classes, so it may be a bit hard to contact them outside of your standard lab hours. The best way to contact us is via email. Now I'm going to emphasize that you must put 31268 in the subject line so we happen to know exactly what the subject of your email is about. Boom, boom. Um, it's also best to send it from your UTS email, your at student email, student.uts.edu, oops.au. Um, don't send it from things like Gmail or Hotmail because we will spam them, especially severely. Okay. So if you do need to contact for other reasons, there's other ways of contacting us as well. For example, if you've got a generic question, like something that can be shared by everybody or could be answered by your fellow students, use the UTS Online Discussion Board. Second thing is, if you need to contact us for something like a question about the theory or practical stuff, Linux gym, contact your tutor. You'll see them every week anyway. If you've got some questions that can't be resolved by the tutor, speak to me, your lecturer. And especially for theory stuff. Linux gym, maybe not so, but theory definitely. And finally, if you have administration problems, for example, you uh, need to change classes or something like that, contact me. Simple as that. I'm going to cover what's in our subject outline. This is a contract between you and me. And you can find that on UTS Online under the section called Subject Information. And you'll find some other things there too. We'll talk about that later. We've basically broken up this semester into three main sections. Operating systems, which roughly speaking is from weeks one to three and a little bit in week um, six and seven. We have a lot on the web, basically starting from week, th week um, three to about week five. And we've got assignments due, and a very big important assignment is due actually in week seven. And the rest of the semester from week um, eight onwards is about computing theory the underlying stuff behind the actual computing we're going to deal with. Every week, you'll be expected to do some homework. This will be a combination of things like pre-reading, you have to watch the online videos, there be maybe there may be some background um, theory that you have to learn, and you may have activities as well. It's important to do this before you come to classes. We may even quiz you on it, we'll expect you to know it already. And speaking of classes and lectures, we're going to have a uh, what we call a seminar lecture in weeks 1, 3, 8 and 10. I'll be introducing each of the modules, we'll have certain activities together. And this is in the main collaborative lecture theatre downstairs in the ground level in Building 11. It's very important that you bring a laptop, tablet, paper, pens. So don't forget to bring materials that you can write with. Okay. Every week, you're going to have two hours of labs, um, basically in the Building 11 Linux labs. Now, the important thing to remember is each tutor will make their own mind up on how the actual tutes are run. It's completely autonomous under their control. Typically, it'll be half an hour of review. They'll have presentations. You'll have presentations, peer marking. And they might cover a mini lecture on what you need to do for the uh, the next part, which is the 
computer-based training system called Linux Gym, um, where you'll learn about Linux, or Unix in general anyway. Um, there we have a component, self-study, so when you finish your lab, you can complete the Linux Gym offline, use review materials, whatever you need to do. And um, I mentioned the tutorials are run by the tutors, so you may or may not be there every week, it's up to you, it's your responsibility, not ours. But there's a couple of weeks where you have to be here. There's a quiz and a final exam in week 5, week 10, and I left this one out, week 11, which is the critical one. It's the, review, it's the skills test. We'll talk about that in a moment. I mentioned Linux Gym. It's a computer-based training system. You do certain chapters covering various parts, what we call the LPI, Linux Essentials Certification. We only cover about 80%, so just be aware of that you still have to learn a lot more if you want to go for certification. Which is a worthwhile thing to think about. Just be aware though that we don't, it's not assessed as a certification. These Linux Gym chapters are worth roughly about 2% each. The last one's worth 3. It totals 15%. Now you can do it outside the lab as well as inside the lab. But the key thing is you have to finish by 5 p.m. sharp on the Friday the week after. So from week one, which is chapter one, it's due in week two at 5 p.m. on Friday. Okay, week two. Be very careful about that. Oops, I can't draw W's very well here. I did mention the quizzes. The quizzes in total are worth 9%. They're due in week 5 and 10. So this is the do not miss dates. If you do have to miss it, well, let me know and we'll see what we can do. Now these are based on tutorials and the lectures, especially the online lectures. It is closed book. It's done in the tutorial. It's definitely do not miss. Do not miss. I keep emphasizing that because that's 9% of your marks that could go down the drain if you don't turn up. Oh, by the way, they're also really good because they're actually multi-choice, they're online, and they're actual good examples of the final exam itself. Your assignment. You actually will have an interesting assignment during week 7, 5 p.m. It's basically you'll design a small website good thing about this website, it's based on you. So we're going to ask you to create a public homepage for yourself on our real website, www.student.it.utsedu.au, and you can even search it on Google. So I'll talk about that in our main review, our first lecture. We'll show you some examples of what you will build and what some students have built. Now, an interesting twist on this is you have to do a peer review as well, and this is due the week after. So once you have your assignments in on Friday 5pm, we're going to get you to do it in class. We'll go through an example of how to review a website and you'll actually mark each other. Interesting choice. Your tutors will also mark you as well. Another exam that you have to do, which is based on the Linux gym, is in week 11. So this is another do not miss. It will be in your tutorial. It is based on Linux Gym. And the good news is it's partially open book. You can bring one A4 handwritten. And it can be double sided. Sheet of A4 paper. So you can write your, I guess, crib notes to help you do the actual exam. I'll talk more about that basically in our review lecture in week 10. You do have a final exam of this subject. It's in the exam week. And good news is it's based on quiz one and quiz two. Pretty close to exactly the same questions. It's randomized, of course. Um, it does cover a bit more, and you really will need a calculator to bring with you. A HSC calculator is a good thing to bring, but I'll cover that in the review lecture as well. The final assessment item it's only 6%. It's what we call a contribution activity. The idea is you'll pair up, 
could be three, it depends on each one how much the tutors want to run it. So I said pair could be from two to three students, no more. Um, you present a topic in the tutorial. Um, we suggest you could, if you're scared of presenting, you can use um, YouTube or a screencast or a pencast or use explain everything like I am. And the interesting thing is, is that the topic is something that you choose and that you're interested in related to information technology. So we've got lots of examples of, of topics online. You can suggest it or you can just follow the list from the tutor. The second twist is that you need to peer mark it. So you'll be, two of you, or three of you, will be asked to peer mark the presentation. Very simple, so you say, would you like it or not? But you need to give some constructive feedback to give get full marks. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Things like, you didn't cover the Intel i7 core processor or something like that. Or you could say, the games rigs that you're talking about is not the latest, or something like that. We won't give you marks for being in the tutorial, though. 6% is really just designed to encourage you to think outside the square. Now, about assessment. There's always issues. I mean, you always will have issues. Um, classic cases, you're, you are sick or dog ate your assignment. And don't laugh when students claim that they've actually had a dog eat their USB. And we suggest, well, wait till it passes out. And just unload it. But I think that's too disgusting to think about. There is a special consideration process. It's an online thing for your My Student Admin. Request the special consideration before the assignment is due. Even if it's 4.45 on Friday, 5 p.m. Uh, Friday, you have to do it before the assignment is due. So if we, if we receive it on Saturday or Sunday, for example, it won't be accepted unless there's a special reason. We're not that harsh. For example, you could only get to a computer because he had an accident the day after. Who knows? We will take some consideration, but we tend to be fairly strict. If you're sick, you have to have evidence that is a doctor's certificate of some kind. Now, we've actually got a textbook, which we roughly closely follow. Um, every week, we have the chapter readings that you can look up. It's called Information Technology and Introduction to Today's Digital World by a guy called um, Dr. Richard Fox from Kentucky State University, or North University, whatever it's called. Um, you don't have to buy the book. It's really nice to have if you intend to do further IT courses. But it's also available electronically. So on UTS Online, I have the link, and it's available in our subject page in the library as well. So you can see the link. You can download it using Safari. It's very useful to have it electronic instead of hard copy, but that's up to you. The subject outline has more resources as well. Um, on UTS Online, it's got everything. The main thing to look at is the web links, discussion board, and there's a book list, and there's an FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. Um, there's some practical work. Um, Linux, guide Unix using Linux, plenty of other things you can read out there, online especially. Um, we recommend a really good one. It's called Ryan's Tutorial. It's actually linked there. He's actually one of your tutors. Um, maybe not this semester, but next semester definitely. RyanTutorials.com. It's a great reference written by the tutor, especially thinking about how you would actually use it for this subject. It's worthwhile looking at. A few other things that you might need for help. Um, if you've got poor English, there's a website, there's a uh, service at UTS called Helps for English Language Assistance. Not so much needy, needed for this subject. Uh, if you have special needs, contact your academic liaison officer, which is me, strangely enough. Special needs service will actually help you organise things if you need extensions or special exam conditions. And you can see the link down below, support and services. Check that link out if you need to see other help. Finally, if you think you know this subject well, for example, you're a Linux hacker, you've done IT, you know what binary, you know digital logic, you know what, um, how to write shell scripts, for example. You've got some form of qualification in the background, like a diploma or a previous degree. You can sit for a challenge test, but be careful. This is run during the orientation week, so you have to really book yourself really quickly at this link, a Google link. 
It's an online form. Register yourself. I actually will run um, challenge tests in week one. So if you miss this date, you still have a chance to catch up. So do consider it if you pretty are sure that you can um, pass the subject. You've got access to UTS online. Look at the guides and see what you can work out what it can be. Finally, if you have any questions, save them for week one. We'll have our seminar and I have an open questionnaire. It's a session. If you want to ask questions, ask there. And um, I hope you enjoy this subject. I'll see you next week. Bye.